One of the highlights every single year here in the Palm Beaches is the Green Market in West Palm Beach. And guess what? We are number one in the country again. Market in West Palm Beach with community events supervisor Angela. This is the woman in charge. You are making it happen. I mean, this is spectacular. Thank you. We are truly excited about our market this year. You know, we started over here a little over 10 years ago with 50 vendors. And since then, we're at about 120. So many exciting things have happened this year that were just great for the city of West Palm Beach. Absolutely. And for people who aren't familiar, please tell them how you guys have been voted number one two years in a row. Yeah, um, that's pretty exciting in itself, but we are voted number one in the nation for Green Market, and that alone is such a privilege to be able to say. And, you know, the people got us there, and I mean, I think if you look around, you truly see we are number one for a reason. We take pride in what we do. Ah, uh, it's wonderful. It's a great time to be with your family. It's a great time to get together. I love the kites. The way they decorated it this time makes it so fun and so different. I love the smoothies. It's so good, it's already gone. What do you think is the special ingredient? You know, there's, there's definitely a recipe involved that creates something this spectacular that everyone in the nation can recognize as being the best. So we have um, a judge and jury process, which a lot of other markets don't have. When we chose this path, we decided that if you're going to do something, you need to do it right. And it's something that is done by judges outside of our city. So there's you know, no favoritism, but we bring in different judges that specialize in things that have to do with the market. And I have to tell you, it's been a wonderful experience just to watch and watch grow. But the vendors that we get out of it are truly amazing. So for us, it's a win-win. Best of the best of the best. I mean, just look at the weather out here. The birds are chirping, people are spending money. It's exactly what we like to see. Flowers. Now, even though it's a green market, of course you have produce, but you have a lot of other categories of things. Can you tell us about some of the other things people find here? Sure, obviously there's cafe. So if you come down here and you're hungry, you can grab some prepared food. Obviously, you know, people come down for breakfast, grab coffee, there's so many different coffee vendors, tea vendors, kava, you name it, we've got it here. Some fabulous entertainment and to top it all off, like this year we have added one more element to our market because again, we recognize that people are coming down here with needs. A lot of people buy flowers or orchids or plants and they don't necessarily know what to do with them when they get home. So we've now started the 20 by 20, which is our pop-up workshop, so you can learn. They're just great classes and most of them are free. It's just another little thing that we try to give our customers. It's something beautiful to do every Saturday here. Thanks for the city to have organized these. They have a beautiful vendors. We start the first weekend in October and we go basically till the end of April right before Sunfest starts to load in. We're selling gourmet pickles. I work for Dr. Pickle. Can't beat it, we got the best. If you had to pick one vendor, what do you look most forward to when you come out on Saturday? You know, it's interesting because every year it changes for me as to which one. I'm a pasta girl, I'm Italian, you know, so I'm excited we have new pasta vendors this year, but I'm tried and true to cheese and pasta always. We have lovely sauces, garlic spreads, salads, you name it, we got it. Let's head into the green market and take a look. highlights here at the Green Market in West Palm Beach is Cider Donuts. I'm here with Leslie Russell. I'm so excited to try this. I have to admit, I've never tried one before, but I've heard amazing things. You are one of the highlights of the entire Green Market. We get that a lot, yes. Well, what makes it magical, really, is that it's a vanilla cake batter donut, but we blend in fresh apple cider, so it makes them light and fluffy and not so dense. And then we actually let you top it with a caramel apple dipping sauce, and your world is just turned upside out. Yes, All right, the true test you, now. I am a donut aficionado. <laughs> I love sweets, so and you want this is exciting. Caramel dipping sauce. Oh wow! Oh, they're nice and warm yes. too. That Always looks spectacular. Warm. We do actually have a box that we cool down, so you can buy them and reheat them at home. Because there should never be an excuse to not have cider donuts close by and on hand, oh. right? She's speechless. She can't even say anything. 
there is no fresher donut right now on the planet Earth than the ones we're serving right here. All right, we're here with Roy Kerr. He is a master donut maker. Yes. And been with the company over a decade, so yes. you gotta love it. You gotta now, love it. Yes, it is. Here's the big challenge. I'm gonna try and do right. this interview without eating the donut. Yes, yes. <laughs> this is That's very cool. challenging. That's because fine. Because they're so delicious. All right, now walk us through what is the process? Well, the process here, everything here gotta be measured. Mm -hmm. Precisely. You can't over and you can't on. Everything just got to be right on the money. Mm -hmm. And this machine right here, go up to 400 degrees. When you're running the donuts, if it's too hot, then you know because the donuts have a different color when they come out. Somebody got to be right here. Uh -huh. Just catch them at the same time to mm -hmm. sugar them and put them away. So it's a big process. All right, ready? Cheers. Cheers. This sandwich is a 14 hour smoked brisket, mm -hmm. corn husk smoked bacon, pickled jalapenos, Vermont white cheddar, creamy Swiss cheese, garlic parmesan oregano butter with a sweet and spicy bourbon barbecue and a drizzle of creamy Dijon on Toronto's rustic Italian bread from New York. Holy cow. And one sandwich, that's all I want. All right, so the secret of our, our sandwiches, besides obviously our recipe to the sandwich, uh -huh. is the sauces. I mean, from New York, so we're all about the sauces. The first one is our creamy Dijon balsamic, so we drizzle that right over the top. Uh-huh. And then our new, Sweet and spicy bourbon barbecue. So this is what it's all about. And you're gonna taste it right now. That looks about. delicious. All you're right, ready to get all in? right, I'm ready. Don't be shy. Calorie free, I'm sure. Oh, this is a fat free, calorie free <laughs> brisket grilled cheese. You never heard of that? Oh yeah. You get it? Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Huh. Mm. I know, right? It's good. Mm. That's what we do. Look at those mushrooms, holy cow. <laughs> The Green Market here in West Palm Beach has some incredible vendors. This is one of them right here. These are some of the most amazing mushrooms I've ever seen, Spencer. We specialize in medicinal and culinary mushrooms. These are our gourmet varieties right here. We have a blue oyster and a golden oyster. We also grow several different types of medicinal mushrooms. We get our organic mix of oak and soy. That's what it feeds off of. We inoculate those bags with mushroom spores, then we colonize them for about two weeks. The mycelium starts to grow. If you don't know, the mycelium is essentially the root system of the mushroom. After about two weeks of feeding off of this organic base here, the mushrooms are ready to fruit. We put them into the grow room. Within a week or two, you have the fruiting body of the mushroom, which is what you see right here. There are many fresh markets in the country where you can get fresh, gorgeous coconut. I'm here with Nishani. This is pretty amazing what you do here. Thank Tell you. us a little bit about what people can get here at your booth. Okay, so here I have the fresh coconut. I also have a lot of tropical juices like the passion fruit or guava pineapple, tamarind. And then we have pressed juice, mango carrot, and our super greens. Okay, so inside the coconut, there's a shell and that sits to the bottom. So I like to start from the bottom using my machete. So on an angle, give that a good whack, and just repeat that motion. <laughs> Get that off for you. Wow. And here we have the freshest coconut you Doesn't find. get any fresher than this. Beautiful. Thank you. And how did you get started doing this? Well, my husband and I realized that there was like a need for fresh stuff like this. And most people don't know the nutritional value of it. And me coming from the Caribbean, I know a lot about coconut. So it has a lot of um, potassium and magnesium. So it's that mother nature Gatorade right there.
Rachel from Purposefully Baking. You've yes. got a wonderful story. Tell yes. us how you got into baking. Um, so shortly after I graduated college, I felt really ill and I kind of lost my sense of purpose. I know I couldn't get back into the normal workforce. So I've always had a dream of opening up my own bakery. And so I started baking and baking gives me a sense of purpose again. And so all my clients come, they give me the purpose to continue to do the things that I love to do. Stay tuned for more Passport to the Palm Beaches.